What's up guys? It's Isabel here. So I'm going to be doing a glorious Easter egg hunt again. So if you guys haven't already seen the last episode, I could not find Easter eggs in Bambi, Alice in Wonderland, and Ariel's beginning. So those movies are sadly going to be skipped, but they're still going to be on the shelf because I love watching them. So right now we are going to be doing Beauty and the Beast because I know there are Easter eggs in this one. I know there are Easter eggs. And in fact, I have one right up on my screen, so let's go observe it. So for those of you all that have seen Mammy, I'm pretty sure people have because I'm like... So I don't know how you guys are going to be able to see it. Where But right here, I don't, oh, there she is. Okay, well, right here, that's Bambi's mom from the movie Bambi. Now, I recently just got Bambi, and I freaking already love that movie. I love the movie, I haven't seen it like, this whole Anyway, um, yeah, so I actually have a list of movies here, of Easter eggs that I actually spotted, because I just got done watching it. So the first one was actually Bambi's mom. So, obviously, so the next one has to pertain with Belle's book, which I'm actually just going to kind of go ahead and skip to the scene with her book because I actually didn't realize this until um, <laughs> my friend pointed this out to me. So, these are my friend's words, not mine. Gaston is a dumbass. Because he clearly says, how can you read a book with no pictures? Well, hold up. I'm actually trying to get to uh, the spot where she's singing. Or this actually might be... No. I actually can't... Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I passed it. I passed it. Oh, my God. I passed it. Guys, I passed it. Okay. So, right now, I'm actually trying to get to a point where you can actually see where Belle does her picture. Because, obviously, I think Gaston's blind. Because I think Gaston's blind. And here's why. I personally think Gaston is blind. And I'll show you why. So, he says, how can you read a book with no pictures? What is that? What is that? Smart subscribers, what is that? You guys, I bet you guys all have like a Q, like a, an IQ of like 100 plus and Gaston has one like of a zero because he, that is clearly a picture. And then there's a maiden and then the reason, and then there's kind of like a really cool thing I actually learned from my friend. She's like, have you ever actually stopped and thought about the book that Belle's reading. I'm like, no, why? And she's like, well, there's a maiden dressed in blue that you can actually kind of see from the picture. And she meets her Prince Charming towards the end of the movie, which is kind of like in Act 3. And it, she's like, in Chapter 3, she doesn't find out the prince is actually the prince until Act 3, which I actually found was actually pretty cool. So, yeah. So, our next Easter egg, I don't know if, where it precisely it is. So, I don't know, okay, I do know what the Easter egg is, and it's a Mickey reference. Now, if all of y'all know me, I'm a big fan of finding Mickey references. So, right now... I am just trying to find Mickey references. Oh, wait, hold up. I literally... Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. No. Because, like, literally right now I'm just speeding through the movie because I've already seen it. And I really, 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 like... I've just watched it. Just got finished watching it. But I'm actually really excited and kind of excited about it. But I'm also kind of glad that I actually get to sit there. I'm actually trying to find an easter egg right now that has to do with Cogsworth, so I'll bring it back when I find it. I found it! So, this is going to be probably the one of the first um, Mickey Mouse references. Basically, I want you guys to tell me 
right there. Does that look any familiar? So you guys know what time it is. So for those of you guys that are just watching this, hi guys. So I don't know precisely how much you guys saw because I was a dumbass and didn't decide not to start recording again. So in case for a second you guys didn't see this, you guys might have seen it and you guys so a Mickey Mouse reference right there. Or Cogworth said Cogworth, Cogworth. Um, anyway, but I like to mark how many references each movie has. So far, Beauty and the Beast has one, and Aladdin has two. So I don't know precisely, like, how much each has. So, yeah. So I'll be back when I find another Disney movie. Well, not movie, but y'all know it. Found another one! I'm already gonna go ahead and mark this one. I already, I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one because I already found it. So, there's actually a hidden uh, Mickey reference. So, we already found two out of the Mickey references. One, and then there's one more. So, there's one right, right here. You guys can see little ears and a little head. So, I'm counting it. I'm counting it. I'm counting it. So, yeah, guys. This is gonna be really cool. So, we have just one, I believe, one more to find of them. And then I believe that'll be all of our Mickey references. We only have two more Easter eggs that I was able to find left. And that is one more Mickey reference and one dealing with Gaston. So I'll see you guys when we find the last Mickey. Alright you guys, I have found it. So let's get going guys. So this one is actually a hidden Mickey. Same with the last one I showed. So this is actually a hidden Mickey. Oh, oh, hold on, let me see. Because you guys have the ears, and you guys have, like, the head. So, yeah. Now, there is one more Easter egg that I actually do have. So, there's actually two more Easter eggs, and one of them actually cracks me up so much when I actually found out. Because I watched my friend's video, and, and it's an unreleased video. I have no idea when she's going to release it. And she actually was able to decode something in Beauty and the Beast. But I'll let you guys know in a second when we get to that. After this, one more Easter egg. Because there's one more Easter egg before that. Let me mute my TV real quick. Just so... I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I actually have... So, this is called the Gas... I call this the Gaston Death Eyes. Because if you guys pause it at just the right moment, this is what you guys are going to be able to see. Gaston has skulls in his eyes. I guess Disney was trying to tell the fans, um, Gaston's probably dead, not going to survive, so, yeah. So, now we, I did show, and so, there is an Easter egg, so you guys know the signs where you have Belle's father and Felipe the horse I'm trying to get to that scene right now because I can. There the so my friend was able to decode what they said and I don't remember exactly what they say, but from what I remember is that they were all state like they were all like cities, not states, cities in California. And she was like, how, she was like, how did you go from France to California? Like, unless he swam, unless Felipe swam across the world, like, ha like, across the world, there ain't no way. Which, that cracked me up when she said that. So that's all the Disney movie references that I have for you guys today. So this will be officially part two. Okay. So, right now, I'm very excited about this. So, yeah, guys, I gotta get going. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!